Hello Libra, this is Debs and this is your TGIF weekly reading for Friday the 6th of October 2023. Libra, it's lovely to be with you. I hope you guys are well. Um, I've just done the Aquarian reading, uh, which is pretty intense. So if you have Aquarius in your chart, do check that out. Okay guys, let's start. The deck that I'm using is simply called The Signs of Sun. If you find this resonates with you, you can book a private reading with me. Everything is in the description box, as well as a link to joining my channel if you're interested in membership. Okay, Libra, here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Friday, the 6th of October, 2023. What do we have for my lovely Libras? Thank you, Michael. Mm. Interesting. We've got the star card, Aquarian energy coming straight out. All right. What have we got for my Libras? Yeah. I'm hearing a really old song by Kate Bush, Running Up That Hill. Hmm. Okay. I could be connecting with a Kate. You could be feeling as if something's a bit of an uphill struggle. Let's have a look and see what we've got. So guys, we start off with the King of Pentacles, King of Coins. Libra, I think this is someone that you were involved with before. Now, either you were married to this person or living with this person, or maybe you were just dating this person. But unbeknown to you, Libra, with the energy of the lovers, this is someone who had a choice between you and someone else, Gemini energy. Unbeknown to you, they were dating you as well as working on another connection. You realise, Libra, that they were actually sat in the Knight of Wands. They just wanted to have a little bit of playtime. And with the Eight of Cups, Libra, I think you walked away. I think you walked away. You concentrated on yourself, you concentrated on healing, and I think you were very successful in balancing your energies. You work very hard on your foundation with the Eight of Pentacles, and I think now, Libra, you're looking out across this vista with the Three of Wands, wondering what the future is going to bring. Okay? All right. So, Libra, let's delve into this reading and see where this goes. Here we go. Sacred Forest in these Lynn. Archangel Michael, what do we have for my lovely Libras? Thank you. No, 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 no. Just those. Okay, Michael, thank you. So Libra, you may well be concentrating on your finances, your career. You could be looking at moving forward in terms of the work that you do, whatever that means for you expansion is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's see what we've got. So Libra, we start off with patience. So I feel for a period of time when you were seeing this King of Pentacles, you weren't quite sure as to whether or not it was going to move forward. You felt as if things were sort of clouded. Well, I don't know what's going to happen with this. I mean, I'm sitting and waiting, but nothing much is really happening, right? Again, feeling a little bit uncertain. You couldn't see what was really going on. I think, Libra, eventually, with stillness, you realised that this person was not going to be developing this connection into something more. You actually told yourself the truth or you found out the truth, that this person was potentially not interested in a commitment, or they may have been building a relationship with someone else. In retrospect, Libra, I think you may feel that you were sort of protected in some way, because this person may simply have been sat in a little bit of their shadow, okay? Got to be honest. So the divine is saying, Libra, spread your wings, you're free, enjoy this time. Hummingbird spirit, concentrate on the beauty around you. Concentrate on your own life, your own stability. You may feel, Libra, as if you want to push love away for a period of time. 
and move into the energy of enlightenment, working on your own life path, your own spiritual journey. What the divine is saying, Libra, is this is someone who was simply not ascended, they weren't for you, and they want you to detach and look to your own future, okay? So Libra, that is what we have at the start of this reading. We're going to be delving now into the tarot. Here we go. This is the legacy of the divine. So Libra, I think you are realising that this wasn't meant to be. I don't think you are sitting in floods of tears, feeling drastically upset. I don't. I think you are pushing forward. Yeah. Seven of coins. Seven of pentacles. You may, Libra, be looking at the past occasionally, but I don't feel as if it's with an, an enormous amount of regret. You, I think, Libra, are going to be concentrating on your foundation. Wow. Yeah. Four of Cups. What you're realising is you may not have wanted what they were offering you in any case. Page of Wands. Yeah. So Libra, this could have been a much younger fire sign. Or you may have thought, yeah, this is just about the attraction, nothing else. The sun. You become enlightened, Libra, that this wasn't actually supposed to move forward. Temperance. You're concentrating on your own happiness and you are bringing yourself into a place of balance. Three of coins. I think you are concentrating on your foundation. You could be delving into different projects. Queen of Swords, and you're in quite an analytical, intellectual place in your life. Yeah. Wow. Nine of Cups. I think, Libra, you are simply giving to yourself. You may be being a little bit overindulgent. You could be eating lovely things. You could be buying a few nice things for yourself. But you're concentrating on you. That's what I feel. Three of Cups. You could be going out and meeting a few people, being social, but you're not, I think, you're not concentrating on love. Justice. You're getting yourself balanced. You could be going for a new job. You could be starting a new business. You could be expanding a business. Eight of Wands. You're waiting for your ships to come in. For some of you, you're thinking about taking a holiday. For others of you, you may be feeling that you need to move. Yeah, Libra, you're just looking at your options. What is going to make me happy going forward? Concentrating on your faith, Libra. You could be spiritual. And with the judgment card, you're making the right decisions for yourself. You could be connecting in the future with a Sagittarius or a Taurus. But I feel that you're not looking seriously for a relationship. That's what I feel. Six of Wands, Libra, you're all about your career. You're all about your career. You've got bigger fish to fry, Libra. Two of Swords, you may have to push down your emotions a little bit. Or you're simply blocking out people that you may feel a Saturn ego. And with the Wheel of Destiny, I think you're allowing the Divine to move you forward. You're not concentrating on the past anymore, Libra. Yeah, Ace of Swords, you're concentrating on your future. You're concentrating on your future. I think with the energy of the Emperor, now you could be sad in the energy of the Emperor... I think, Libra, you're actually waiting quietly for your emperor to show up. You're looking for an emperor. So, Libra, until your emperor actually shows up, you're sitting in the energy of the strength card. You're holding back. It's as if I'm not even going to look at anyone unless I think they're holding emperor energy. The hangman, you're very happy just to sit and wait. Looking at your life a little bit differently, I think, 
Libra, this is you deciding to coast. You're coasting, Libra. The death card, you're going through a very big change internally. That's what I feel. Eight of Wands, you could be getting downloads from the divine. Wow. Chariot. And I think this is you really keen to move forward, embodying the energy of the star. Again, nice and balanced, your inner healed energy, and you may be concentrating on your work. You're very busy right now with the two of pentacles. And I think you're aiming for success in your career. Ace of coins. For some of you, you're also contemplating a move or you may be receiving a lump sum of money from someone. Yes. Ace of Wands. You're inspired at this time. You're inspired, Libra. Yes, you're definitely working on your finances. Eight of Pentacles. You could be looking at documents, legalities. I'm hearing permits for some reason. The Hermit. You may, for some of you, be going through a little bit of a midlife crisis. Page of Swords. You may be communicating with someone about documents, applications, contracts. This is to do with work. This is to do with work, Libra. The Empress. You're embodying the energy of the Empress. You're incredibly wise. You've learned a lot of lessons, Libra, and you are pushing forward in the work that you do. Four of Wands. You're determined to bring yourself the stability that you need. I'm hearing for yourself, by yourself. Okay, Libra. Knight of Cups, there is somebody coming in who is interested in you. Could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. And you may be sitting on the fence wondering if this person is worth your time. You're going to be deliberating, Libra, if you want to see where this goes. Ace of Cups, there is an Ace of Cups in the offing. Someone is wanting to be with you, Libra. But you're not quite sure. For some of you, you've just been feeling very comfortable as um, an independent person. Do I want a relationship? Four of Pentacles. Libra, you may be in the frame of mind where you might worry that if you move into some kind of serious relationship with this person, it could somehow damage your own financial security. I don't think this is you feeling miserly or mean or anything like that. I think you are just being very careful that you don't get yourself embroiled with somebody who is just looking for a free ride. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, you're a little bit worried about this. Ten of Wands, because you've got enough on your plate, Libra, with the work that you do. I've got to be honest, guys. Seven of Wands, I think you're going to push this person away. What you're realising is, no, they just find me attractive. I don't think they want anything serious. And I feel, Libra, you sort of got a bit between your teeth. You're determined to progress in the work that you do, in your career. Yeah, Page of Cups, Libra, I'm sorry, you're going to say to this person, I apologise, but this isn't really for me. This is not really what I'm looking for right now, you know? Page of coins. You may offer this person friendship. <laughs> Libra, then <laughs> they're not going to like it very much, but you may offer them friendship. Yeah, because with the seven of swords, Libra, there's something about this person you don't trust. You just don't trust them. The magician. Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. What you're realising is I could actually be manifesting a uh, deception in my life. And I really don't want that. I don't want that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Am I manifesting the devil? Wow. The devil, the seven of swords and the magician. Oh, Libra. No, no, no. What is this person's energy? 
is coming in for Libra. What is this person's energy? Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I mean, Libra, they're very attracted to you, but this is somebody who is just looking for a little bit of playtime, okay? They're not serious. Um, I don't think that this is someone who is really wanting to work on a proper commitment. Mm, Ten of Swords. Libra, I think you've had your fair share of people rushing towards you, um, acting all keen and as if they really want to develop a situation with you and then leaving you, right? Yeah. Yeah. By the ones. They may be very upset that you're not really wanting to develop a connection with them. They may have got to be in their bonnet about you, a bit obsessed about you, Libra, but you're not playing. No, no, no. King of Wands, yeah, they're very attractive. Yes, they're feeling as if you're just going to fall at their feet. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know why. I just don't think so, guys. Yeah, look at you. Nine of Pentacles, you're very happy single. It's as if I don't need to put up with the drama, any deception, any deceit, competition with other people. No, I don't need it. I'm better off on my own. And actually, at this point of time, Libra, I think... That's what you're going to say. You know what? Thank you for your offer. You're very attractive, but I'm not looking for a relationship. Libra, they could be shell-shocked. They may be thinking, oh my goodness, well, uh, I'm coming in, acting as if I really want a relationship. What is Libra's problem? Well, you don't have an issue, Libra. The only issue you've had is with other people taking advantage of you. And I think for you, at this point of time, you're concentrating on yourself. What else do we have for Libra, Michael? The Tower. Yeah. Libra, I think this might be a shock, this person coming in. They could be a Scorpio or an Aries. Or this person is shocked because you're simply not interested. It's as if they're saying to you, I'm offering you this, I'm offering you that. I don't quite understand why you're pushing me away. But Libra, you've got every right to speak your truth and say how you feel you know just be kind with it the world yeah so the world is you closing out a cycle of dealing with people that you really feel are not sat in the light i think you're moving onwards and upwards libra six of swords you've learned your lessons and you're moving forward you're moving to calmer waters yeah and libra you are working towards your ten of pentacles and i have to say as a single person. Yeah. Anything else for Libra? See if we can close this out, guys. Yeah. Libra, hi, priestess. You're keeping yourself to yourself. You're highly intuitive at this point of time. You're looking to the future, Libra. Yeah, the fool. You're on a brand new path. You're very excited about what you're doing. You could have a really interesting career. And I think, Libra, you are creating your own happiness. Ten of Cups, you're creating your own happiness, Libra. Really beautiful. This is you concentrating on you. All right. So, Libra, let's get messages from the divine. Here we go, guys. Let's see what else we have for you, Libra. Imagine. Libra, your head is firmly in your future. You may be coming up with some amazing ideas. You could be putting your five-year plan in place. You're looking at your options. A change in the wind. For some of you, you may be thinking of moving relocating, embracing change. There's a deep knowing, Libra, that you're just about to sort of jump into a very successful new cycle. You can feel it coming and it's as if you can't cope with anything else in your life at this point of time. You need to do this solo. Blessed. You are blessed, Libra. For many of you, you're light workers, you're on a blessed path. You may be sitting in the energy of gratitude. Not for you, yeah. So Libra, whoever is coming in is not for you. 
exchanging gifts. I actually think, Libra, this is you helping other people and the divine rewarding you for doing it in whatever way that is, okay? You could be helping people spiritually on their path. You could be providing help as someone in the medical profession, okay? But I feel that whatever you are doing to help humanity somehow, the divine is rewarding you. Sacred Soul Portals. Do we have anything else for my lovely Libras? Mm. Keystone. There's one last piece to put into place. You have the power to bring things together. Libra, you are on some kind of mission. You're on some kind of mission. Stargate. Wow. You visit other dimensions in your dreams and bring back higher wisdom to share. I am definitely connecting with a light worker. Yes. Goodness me. Reflecting. It's time to remember the past and bring that wisdom forward to assist you now. Maybe the lessons that you learned in the past, Libra, you may be in a place of protection, deep protection. Promised land. You've almost reached your goal, so don't stop now. Take every opportunity you can. This is your life's purpose, Libra. Awe and wonder. Don't take anything for granted. There are many amazing things to come. Final message for my beautiful Libras. Pillar of strength. Fortify your resolve and stand strong in your truth. Do not let others undermine your faith. There we have it. So Libra, <laughs> this is you concentrating on you. So guys, if you wanted love, I'm really sorry, but I think for this period of time, for the majority of you, this is you concentrating on your life, your life purpose, your home, the people around you, and your faith, okay? All right. So Libra, have a wonderful weekend, whatever you're up to, take care of you, and I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye Libra.